we've today we're gonna have to we're gonna strip off all this roof all these rosemary's tiles and um basically they want there's no felt underneath all that so we're redoing all the kitchen so they want all new felt to go underneath all that so we're going to strip it all back take all the buttons off uh check all the rafters are all okay which they should be um and then refelt button new lead work i'd imagine at the side there looking at how ropey that lot looks and yeah fit all the tiles back on and looking at some of those some new ones as well so catch us in a bit but perhaps put you on time lapse and you can see how it all starts going see you later So we've stripped all the tiles back. They're all over there. They're going to get reused. Um, all the buttons off. We just need to denail it all. Um, we've got to cut out some of those timbers and get them ready for the Velux window that's going to go in a lot lower down. Um, we're going to remove that Velux up there, but we'll do that once we've got some pack button back on. It's a bit safer. Yeah, start getting it all felted up then, get it dry before the end of the day.
got all the felt and the button on now and obviously our opening there ready for the velux uh, we've had to use quite a wide button on there which wouldn't normally on the rosemary tiles just because we couldn't get any others because there seems to be a bit of a shortage of button at the minute um, but yeah we've got all that sorted for today we're gonna have to change the fascia board and the guttering tidy that up tomorrow um, but yeah for today we're all watertight again and uh, get ready for tomorrow so we'll see you then in the morning hello this so today we are going to get that velux window in first sean's going to carry on getting his lead soakers in up the side we're going to hopefully get it all covered with tiles we'll put you on time lapse and you can see how we get them
Hey, so we have finally got all the tiles on the roof. <laughs> Sean's managed to get all the ridge tiles all, all, all uh, cemented on up there. We've, we've basically done it as we've gone because it's a bit, uh, a bit sketchy to say the least up there. Uh, if you're wondering why we've got a giant bit of lead flashing in here, basically there was somebody has fitted a steel in before here and it's come out through past the roof line and they've just basically left it with a bit of a ply board there uh, so we've covered that up so it's a bit bit more weather tight in that sense but uh, couldn't really think of anything better to do there without some serious drastic changes inside so uh, so I'm sure someone will come up with something better for there. I'm sure they'll advise us. Um, and so yeah, so we've got most of that done there now. Sean, when he gets back, he's going to point up all the ends there. Probably stick you on time lapse just to finish it all. And I'll speak to you when we've got that bit done. So, right, as you can see now, the roof is all finished. Um, so we've got just guttering and stuff like that to put on. Um, so just thought I'd give you a bit of a run through of everything that the, the lads have done as you've seen. So this section here, I just want to explain what why there's such a massive piece of lead. Now on the inside, there's a steel that runs all the way through that way. So underneath there, there's nothing actually holding that. So when we came, all that was was just a bit of ply that they glued a bit of lead work to, I think it was. Um, so we were trying to think of the best way of going about that. So that is why that is there. So we were speaking to the homeowner uh, and we were trying to, to figure out a, the best way about it, nice, nice, because obviously we can't put brickwork there because there's nothing to hold it up. Um, so that's basically what we've come up with. The homeowner thinks it's actually a much better solution now than what was there before, looks a lot smarter. Um, so yeah, just a bit of a recap. So it's obviously a full strip of the roof, as you saw. Um, the, the obviously roof structure was all good. So again, breathable uh, membrane on there, rebattened, We've moved, obviously put a new Velux in, uh, which obviously was up up there, a bit further, an older version. Uh, and then we've actually, we've sourced a load of um, reclaimed tiles as well, because when we came, there was loads broken, all uh, just showing sort of, in fact, they're all in the skip now, but there was loads on there that was all sort of perished and uh, crumbling away so now you imagine if I went and stuck well not me because as you saw it, well I've not even been on that roof it was the rest of the lads um, if we went and bought a load of brand new ones and stuck them on it's not going to look that good is it so we've had to do that we've also been and had to get some new reclaimed ridge tiles as well but they're all bedded on now um, and then all pointed all up at the end so done a really smart job, it's actually came out really really well, uh, really happy with it, so obviously that's phase one of this project, um, so we're going to be getting on with uh, taking the wall out on the inside, which is for the fireplace, um, which is what you've, you might have saw if, if you just look closely on there where you've got the steels and stuff, uh, going to be going through that hole, so you might see me on doing that bit, because that's the bit that I've been doing, um, so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and we shall catch you on the next one. Cheers for watching guys, have a great day.